This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're here to do a Wall Street view with Drew Bernstein of Markham, Bernstein and Pinchuk. He's a co-managing partner. And by the way, this interview is taking place at the 2016 Markham Microcap Conference in New York City. Drew, welcome to SNN Live and welcome to your own conference. Thank you, Shelley. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for participating. Um, it's been a really wonderful conference. We have over 2,000 people here, maybe 150 companies, so a lot going on. It's good to have you. It's as busy as it gets, and we're having fun. You know what I wanted to say to you today? Um, we've spoken on China through the years. What I want to talk to you about today is the current state of events that's taking place between China and the U.S. Wow, there's a lot going on right now. I think uh, the interest right now is in the cross-border market. You know, you have China right now, uh, they spent close to $120 billion in the first quarter of 2016. That's more than they've spent all last year. There was about 113 transactions that took place in the United States. Let me qualify that. EB-5? No. There was about 600, a little bit more than 650 billion of global M&A transactions in the first quarter of 2016. The Chinese accounted for about somewhere between 110 and 120 billion of that. And of that, 113 transactions took place in the United States. What is a buying? Everything. Um, well, usually seeing, real estate is probably number well, one, estate, right? The Chinese have become the second largest purchasers of real estate now in the United States behind the Canadians. You see them buying businesses. You see them participating in the bankruptcy process right now, grabbing assets out of bankruptcies. That's kind of interesting. Um, so you see the participation across all of the markets. And since it's not purely residential, you're seeing it in other markets than typically the ones that Chinese participate in, like New York, California, San like Francisco. They're buying Minnesota. Right, exactly. And I also think, um, you know, you have this kind of perception versus reality with the Chinese. Especially if you listen, if you get your information from the news and from newspapers, um, you know, you're seeing this last probably eight administrations this uh, policy of active engagement to where we engage with them and hopefully put our economics and politically they change. That really hasn't happened. Um, you see some of the, uh, the incidences in the South China Sea. You see some of the things on trade. And you, you would think that the relationship is not so healthy. But when you really look at some of the facts right now, I don't think the relationship has ever been better. Let me ask you a question. You know, China right now... I want, I want to stop you. I want to, ask you. I want to ask you a question. What about the fact that it's been known that it's difficult to get money out of China, by, for the Chinese to get money out of China? Is that a myth? Is that a reality? Is it partly true? No, that's very true. But I think for, you know, U.S. professionals to be successful, you have to be able to work with countries like China that is everything we are not. And if you look at some of the real statistics right now, China is our number one trading partner. And I have news for you. There's over 600 flights a week between the United States and China. That's a flight almost every 16 minutes. Are you in China more than you're in the U.S.? No. No, I spend about a week every six or seven weeks right now. Uh, maybe I'll spend four or five weeks some of the summer. Um, but the relationship with China right now is pretty healthy. And even given all the inherent problems, it kind of seems like not a great idea to preclude yourself from the second largest economy in the world. And one that's poised to be number one, not six. Let me ask you, you have an office in China. How big is the practice there? Markham right now has five offices in China. We have an office in Beijing, Guangzhou, Shanghai, Hangzhou, and Shenzhen. And we're just starting a consulting division over there so we can 
work for companies that are not just public on U.S. exchanges, but public on domestic exchanges, Hong Kong, Singapore. So we're kind of broadening our mix right now in China. So if you had to give me a little bit of an indication as to what you think will be happening towards the end of 2016 and 2017, what's the Drew Bernstein pitch? Well, I'm always the eternal optimist. <laughs> so, um, you know, I always see things in getting better in China. I know it's a difficult market. I think all of the developing markets, you know, are difficult markets to work in. Um, you know, Chinese stocks right now are traded very much like uh, biotech stocks, right? Biotech stocks are heavily... Emotional. Well, not emotional, but biotech stocks are discounted, right? Tremendously. Why? Because you're waiting for this binary event that never happened. And after it does happen, you can see the discount. Chinese companies are discounted because people don't trust the numbers. So every You would know about you know, getting these companies in line with their numbers. Well, it's not so much us. It's the companies doing things, at least I believe, that are unequivocally good for investors. Things like paying dividends. Things like owning assets in a form that people can understand how you own them. Building up cash, right? So people don't think you go out and do a pipe and dilute everybody. Hiring reputable professionals that understand and demonstrate knowledge within the market. Those are all things, paying dividends for sure. Those are all things that build investor confidence. And I believe if you can make money and do enough of these things, you can recover the discount, which is essentially free money. Let's get your website out there for our audience to get more information on Markham and Mr. Drew Bernstein. You can visit our website at MarkhamLLP.com or MarkhamBP.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Bernstein, Markham, Bernstein, and Pinchuk. He's a co-managing partner. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is a Wall Street View being conducted at the 2016 Markham Microcap Conference in New York City, and it's the fifth Markham Conference. Congratulations. 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 Good to see you. You got him.